Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama in association with www.lasvegasnevadadui.com. Let's get right on this. Uh, today I'm talking about Gaddafi. I, mean, I want to make this much quick. I've, I've, <laughs> I've actually recorded this like four or five times. I'm trying to uh, uh, squeeze this into a very short, short video. Okay, before I get started talking about Gaddafi, I want to say, uh, personally, I did, did not like the guy because he was actually racist against uh, black Africans. He invaded Chad and Niger uh, along the border uh, quite frequently. Uh, he tried to take uh, their territory. He tried to take their resources. However, Chad and Niger uh, uh, did retaliate and, uh, and they were uh, able to uh, uh, negotiate, you know, uh, negotiate and talk about it. Uh, now, let's talk about what really happened. Um, leading up to uh, the invasion of Libya and taking out Gaddafi, which was unconstitutional on Obama's behalf, uh, which is uh, a very impeachable offense, if not a treasonous offense. Um, uh, you have a checklist, and I want you to see how this applies to every person that we're going to invade. They have to generate the support so that people don't uh, have, so there's not a repeat of the uh, Vietnam uh, protests in, in the uh, in the uh, in, uh, across the country. So we have uh, uh, the propaganda list uh, created by the CIA uh, massacred his people. Uh, he's uh, he's a dictator. Uh, he steals their money, steals the oil for himself, lives in a mansion, uh, so forth and so on. Right now, uh, let's let's go over what really uh, happened. Gaddafi was a man of the people and his people liked him. Uh, several reporters uh, from Al Jazeera, uh, from BBC, were on the ground uh, before the before the uh, invasion, before the lead up, uh, when it was there was when it was just an inkling of what was about to happen, and they said there was none of none of the uh, things that CNN was reporting uh, that was going on. Uh, there was at the time there was even a report at one point during the this entire fiasco where CNN said there is a massive demonstration in the town square and the Al Jazeera uh, and the BBC reporters were actually there with cameras and said there is no massive demonstration the camera panned around and there was nobody in the square. There was about five people who were talking to the reporter. That's it. So the entire buildup was a complete and utter lie. Here's, here's his real sins. Gaddafi was a man of the people. You could go to Gaddafi and say, I'm going to start a farm. And he had a program. If you said that you are going to start a farm, he would also, he would get you training. So that you, your farm would be successful, he would uh, make a loan to you at no interest rate. He would give you a car and give you a truck and give you livestock to start your farm. Um, he sin number two. He brought water to all of his uh, country, uh, even the interior, which is desert-like. This is one of the, th the the reasons that the people loved him. He made loans at no interest number four he did not have a central bank that should shock a lot of people and that should wake a lot of you up his country did not have a central bank he could not uh, or he did not uh, debase the money inflate the money uh, you know there was not rampant inflation uh, and pretty much people were well to do in the country compared to other nations of the same exact situation with the oil and everything, with their resources. Uh, and uh, finally, the straw that broke the camel's back, uh, he was one of the new chief proponents of the uh, uh, African Congress, the uh, the body that was forming like like the Eurozone, uh, but it was composed uh, comprised of the African nations, and they were going to have a governing board 
They were going to have their own currency. And the currency was going to be based in gold. How about that one for a kick in the crotch to Europe and the United States? And he was one of the chief proponents of it. Um, regardless of his racism, he did that. He, he, I, he looked up for his people. And even in that dealing, he looked up for his country. Now, why did, uh, he, he was acute with the, uh, the, uh, uh, match, you know, the match that struck the fire that started the fire was the, uh, propaganda saying that he blew up Pan Am Flight 103. And here's where it turned very org ugly, very sharply. Uh, Gaddafi had evidence, uh, proof positive evidence in his hand that uh, Wall Street had come to his docks and were trying to steal his oil as if they were pirates. And when he said no, and when his people said no, uh, he, uh, they started the rumor about uh, flying, uh, uh, Pan Am Flight 103. He was headed to the world court with evidence in hand that not only was he not involved, but he had the evidence of who was involved. And that was the Wall Street interest and the European interest that were involved in shooting down that flight. And that never came to light. And even as evidence uh, of how the propaganda was completely wrong, notice that the propaganda uh, is the same against him, including weapons of mass destruction. Remember, that was along there, too. The same as who else? Saddam Hussein. It's the exact same list, checklist by the CIA. The difference is Saddam Hussein didn't have this conflicting story of his generosity, goodness, and doing stuff, stuff for his people. That never got out. You only heard the propaganda. You couldn't uh, see the other, the other side of it, you know. And for you people say, oh, no, no, these people really did murder. They really did have weapons of mass. They really did. You need to check, go back to the uh, doorstep and take, put your thinking cap on again. There are people who are going to make trillions of dollars off of these deals. Trillions. What is one tiny president in some insignificant country where they can steal the entire resources from the country? Um, when he had his evidence, when they had invaded, there were reporters on the ground and they said, People from the surrounding towns and villages descended upon uh, Tripoli, uh, Tripoli and the capital to defend Gaddafi. The citizens were there fighting with the palace guards against the Al Qaeda terrorists funded by the CIA. Once again, we have the same thing happening in Syria and in Iraq. I'm just here to really wake you all up because it's going to happen in Syria. Mark my words. I want you to be prepared. I want you to have a defense and I want you to remember. Share this video. Mark my words. They've already said that uh, President Assad in Syria had weapons of mass destruction and I already have I already I did a video completely disproving that um, I have in that in that video uh, my sources are the US Marines and US Army generals saying that they don't have it but uh, Obama got on on TV and, and said that uh, he has intelligence that uh, Assad was using weapons of mass destructions namely uh, namely uh, chemical uh, warfare uh, chemical weapons uh, please share this video, share this video. I want everybody to be aware of what is going on and what is going to happen with Syria. 
And then it's, then they're going to proceed to their next stop, Iran. Uh, thank you for watching. This is the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Thank you.